Welcome back. Um, we had some fun learning how to use Phantom Bot a little better earlier. There are some usage guides, but that's not the main point. Today, the main point is celebrating Lee Shogi, releasing Mini Shogi, and much more. And you probably all know Mini Shogi if you've seen me and my coding live stream, or us when we were playing on Pi Chess, but I've also deployed Mini Shogi and many other variants to fiss.mu.com, my free internet Shogi server. But nobody cares about that because there's nobody ever logged on that server. But if you wanted to like run a bot against a bot on that server, you could, in theory, do that. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, there's some new features. We covered this in this morning's video. But what's catching my attention today, something that we briefly looked at this morning, and it occurs to me, um, maybe I should briefly go back actually one page. So we have our announcement page. We see this beautiful Tori here. And you know what this sliding puzzle box shape reminds me? Okay, anyway, we're going to try the sliding box puzzle. It's going to kick my butt. Uh, we will cry, but... You know, perhaps it'll be worth it in the end. Um, so let me open up my live split and we'll get started. Let's see, where is my lot? Here is me adding the live split to the overlay. Where do we want to put the live split? Uh, somewhere that doesn't occlude the rest of the view. So let's move that over. Wait. Okay, let's select that again and move it. Here we go. Uh, probably don't need much more than this shown here. Attempt number one with the timer. Um, is this an official speedrun attempt? You know? Why not? You know? Here we go. The first attempt doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you just have to start somewhere. Um, I think it's set the pause key, so let's try it. There we go. This is speed run attempt. Any percent. So the goal is to just get the king to exit out the bottom here. Um, now, the blog post noted that there's really no leaderboard on Lee Shogi for this sort of thing. But that doesn't mean you couldn't try to make it competitive. So, yeah, we're going to see if I can solve this damn thing. Um, because I tried earlier off stream and it did not go well. So, yeah, I think the general idea is you want to keep these two and these two together. But beyond that, like, I've solved a number of sliding puzzles. I didn't think this one was that evil, but I didn't know this one. So we're getting to learn it a bit better. I think the other discovery is try to keep this silver away from the king. But that's basically all I've got to go on here. I'm expecting my solve time will be in the multiple hours range. Just this is a not an easy puzzle. Uh, there are easier versions of it. I think this is the hardest version that is solvable. Um, so, yeah, this will be fun, he says. All right. Um, so, uh, earlier I tried putting two of these long pieces up next to the king, but I need two small pieces here so I can move the king down. Um... I'm not worrying about the move counter this time because I know my move counter will be uh, enormous. Um, hmm. See, I've split up these guys, which I should never do. At least as far as I know, I don't think it it's ever useful to split them like that. Um, but you know, I've never solved this before, so I don't actually know. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, start a forum post. See, the problem is once people figure out the solution, the speedrun will be so, so much easier. So, I mean, yeah, we could do a forum post, but, you know, somebody's going to solve this. Somebody probably already knows the solution, too. Um, so, I'm not sure how this is going to, like, work from a speedrunning perspective. Um... Also, I've marked this any percent. I don't mean anything special by that, but I think it's entirely fine to restart if you get like frustrated or think it's useful to restart. Um, so I've regrouped my four little tiles, but this guy's stuck, so I have to like clear them out of the way. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to do this. So we've got two in the corner. Um, so if I do this, the problem is that my silver and gold are fighting each other here. There's Getting the silvers and golds to cooperate is quite hard. Um, so, yeah, this is like the pivotal point in the puzzle that I just have not been able to figure out. Um, I'm pretty sure I need these here. Um, if I stick this in the corner like I did earlier, I don't think that gives me the freedom to get this gold moved. And until that gold moves, I mean, what can I do? The only way to move the gold is probably to move the king back up. Um, so, how am I going to get this gold around this silver? I don't know. So now I've moved the gold and silver locked them back in position here. <sighs> So, well, I could do this. This is possible. Now I can move the gold back down, and these two around the gold. Previously, I've not been able to do that. Um, how many other pieces can I shuffle around the silver here, I wonder? Leaving the king in place. Maybe I need to leave the king in place. Oh. Leaving the king in place is not going to gain me very much. Um, unless somehow I can like move all of these rook and golds around the silver. I don't think it's doable. So maybe I do need to move the king. Um, I want to move the gold toward the center. And, yeah, we're stuck again. Why did I move that gold toward the center? That was dumb. Let's undo that. So, let's put the gold back on the edge. And move the king down this way. But I think we've seen this before. Um, and I still can't move this out. Because the silver's in the way. So that's the quandary. It's like, how do we get the silver to move, given that it's stuck between the two golds? That's the thing I can't figure out. I shared a funny picture in Lee Shogi Discord earlier today about just how tricky some of this might be. Where I'd somehow moved all four uh, gold and bishop and rook above the king, and just got completely stuck. That's funny. Because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that in the solution. Because if you were, I would have solved it by now. Um, so, king back in the corner. Um, I mean, maybe there's something to this? How do I shuffle these around the silver? I need to move pieces below the silver. 
I guess to be able to do that, I've got to take the little pieces that I've carefully put into the corner, out of the corner. To do that, it's not going to be easy. Because I put my gold toward the center, which I should not have done. So we're going to put the gold back in the corner here. Get our silver back out. And now that we've regrouped these guys, um, I had some thought. What was my thought? That the silver would be able to move over if there weren't all these damn pieces in the way. But also maybe I'm moving the king the wrong direction. Maybe I should move the king the other way. Oh, um, right. It's a bit of an issue, at least for now. Oh, can't get a piece into this corner, so the king's not going anywhere this way. Not yet, anyhow. Um, so I could move the king like this. So we've got the silver down here, but now we have two pieces that have to get around this silver. Or rather, the silver's got to move move out of the way to make way for these two pieces. But then to move this down, I would need to exchange some of these small pieces for the rook. Um, which doesn't sound so bad. Is it so difficult? Let's find out. Uh, so we've now... Oh, we've got all four pieces right together next to the king. But the rest of the board is blocked for this instant. Um, yeah, so this is another sort of gridlock. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. There's no way to get these pieces around the silver at this point. If I could get the two below the silver, then I could start shuffling things, but then... There might be something if I could shuffle below the silver. So I guess we'll fish these guys out of the corner, try to get two of them below the silver. If there's some way to do that. Um... Or on the outside of the silver, sure. Below, outside, same difference. Um, so, wait. Somehow I was thinking that, no, I these aren't below the silver. These are to the right of it. Because, uh, yeah, I need to move that silver to the other side of these guys. So how do we do that? Okay, move this into the corner. It's maddening, I tell you. We're going to get thousands of moves in before we get this. Because I'm still learning how to solve it. Um, can I shuffle any of this here in some meaningful way? No. <laughs> yeah, putting that guy in the corner is not working. I don't know how I broke it. I'm very tempted to restart. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I broke it. Going back. Back to where we started. Because this is too hard. Uh, like once I've locked the board, um, it's often easier just for me to understand the position after I restart it. Um, hmm. Keep a pair of those guys together. 
This is not useful. Oh, wait. Put this pair into a corner. So I could join that corner with these two. That's not useful, though, due to this gridlock. So let's keep these two together. Um, so we got this shape. 2, 1, 2, 1. Which seems pretty useless, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we can throw this in the corner, but then our silver locks in the gold. Um, the only way to free the silver is by something like this. I mean, we could try a similar operation in the other corner, maybe? Is this somehow better? No, it's still the same lock. With no way to free it. Uh, so I messed up. Um, <laughs> Imagine if there were a knight in this mess. I mean, there is a knight, but like something that didn't move orthogonally just to make this harder. That would be some kind of special brand of evil. Um... Wow, I can't believe I've locked to the, to the point where I can't even get back to where I was. Am I that upset about this? Or am I just so confused? So, like... Well, okay. Um... I mean, we got the two and the one, the two and the one, and I can put these two on the outside, sure. I'm not sure what that gains me, but I've done it. Um, then we could put this over and this down, but this doesn't look useful. Hang on, we've managed to pin the silver to the bottom of the board. I think that's a far better state than we've previously had. Uh, so, I think that's step one. Step two, I've struggled with this quite a bit, is figure out how to get some guys up above here. Maybe I need all four little pieces up in the corner. But if I have all four little ones in the corner, then the silver is going to pin these other pieces. So... Hmm. Let me fix um, my tags. We need one more tag here. Also... Uh, Let's put this back on the leeshogi.org page. All right, so... Hmm. So I could put a couple guys in the corner here, but to actually rotate the, some of these guys above the rook and gold. You have to move a lot of pieces. Um, hmm. I mean, I can move this to the left. Uh... Okay, we got the king and the silver in opposite corners. That's probably not a bad thing. Um, hmm. 
having this having the silver between the golds is almost certainly a terrible thing. Can I get both golds uh, connected somehow? I think so. Uh... I don't know how to connect the gold generals. That's so weird. Why is connecting the gold so hard? Okay, we've connected them. Now, whether that's a good or a bad idea, we'll find out very soon. Probably it was a terrible idea, because it was mine. But, yes, I need to, like, switch these smaller pieces with these larger pieces or something. Hmm. In my undergrad, I think it, there was either a student or a professor who wrote a solution for sliding puzzles, like all sliding puzzles, to demonstrate the features of a language. I could probably code something or find a solution to sliding puzzles faster than I could manually solve this, but that's no fun. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. I need some of these pieces to the left of the king. Or I need to move the silver to the left of the king, which would be amazing if that were possible. I mean, we could try for it, right? Shoot for the moon? Something, something, get lost in the stars? But... Uh, I don't know. This is possible, too. Now the question is to move the gold or to move these pieces. Moving the gold is probably the reasonable move here. Um, I don't like, well, hmm. maybe before I did that I should have moved the silver into the lower right corner. Yeah, is there some way that I can move the silver down there? Uh, without locking the board. So... Why does this always lock the board when I put the silver there? Um... Yeah, like, I can't move this down, because there's not enough space for the king to move over. So, to for there to be space for the king, I have to do something like this. But now I've split up uh, my small units, which almost certainly means I fucked up. But, um, I mean, we can rejoin them this way, but I don't think I've ever... Well, there's a lot I don't know. So our king and silver are opposed, which I think is a good sign. A less good sign is this pile up here, but I think that's correctable. There we go, so that's equivalent. Um, but now the two smaller pieces are next to the king. So next what? Um, 
I mean, we could do this. But then what's possible? The only way to get the silver move... No. The silver can't compress these two other pieces. Um... So I'm not sure where that leaves us. But yeah, moving the king seems not to be useful just yet. Um, is there something I could do with some other orientation of these like I mean we could go back to where we were which is this spot um, Bury this gold in the corner. And this allows me to have two large pieces up there. Does this do anything? No, because then I can't move this. I very likely cannot move this over. There's only two empty spaces. I need to switch these two generals with these four smaller pieces. I've done the opposite of what I needed to do here. Um, I think that's fixable. So let's stick these four up at the top. Uh, like this. And then we can slide these over, these up, and we're stuck. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right. Um, I mean, this doesn't look good. Is it as bad as it looks? I need to move the silver up one more. I'm thinking that moving the king is just not useful yet. But seemingly moving other stuff is also useless. Um, let's move these back down. So let's put one of these in the corner. Maybe I don't need like some perfect symmetry to make everything work. Now, I could move this down. I could move this over. Um, I don't like that I have this little guy in the corner. Okay. Yeah, this guy in the corner is a problem. Oops. Well, that's even worse. So how do I rejoin my pieces? I have to move the king back and this back into the corner. Then this. Then this. Silver up. Okay. Um... Well, it's kind of sort of progress. 
I think still moving. It was too early for me to move the king. Um, I think there's still something else missing. So, hmm. No, I want this in the corner. Um. Oh, but if I put this in the corner, then I can't move the silver. That's interesting. Maybe it's okay. No, it's not. So, did I want this here? Oh, I don't know. I broke it. <laughs> uh, this is not a solution. Um, hmm. This is what confuses me. So I could move these back down. Try to do something tricky with the silver. Then I don't know what else to try. Um, maybe it's easier to move the silver around than it is to move the king around. Maybe the silver and king need to move together? That would be weird. Um, so... Getting slightly more proficient at this, but not really. The silver being wedged between the two golds is so painful. Or the gold and the rook. Um. Hmm. <laughs> so we move the silver back down. That's not right. Um, we are getting closer and closer to where we started. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on. Um...
let's I want to move this rook out of the corner. Let's make that a goal. Okay, the rook is no longer in the corner. I've broken a lot of other things, but the rook is not in the corner. Um So now what? Jupio. <laughs> I don't know. Um I'm so confused. I've split my pieces. I can't do that. I have to have two small pieces all together at all times, or else we get stuck faster. Um, we could do this. I just don't know what this does. Um, not much. Apparently. Now what? This can't work. I need to keep two pieces together at all times. So this break is bad. I don't know how I broke it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether this was Lee Shogi's main developer who made this, or who whether they borrowed it from someone. I don't know. It's a good question. I'm just not sure. Um, no, I don't think the puzzle's impossible. If it were impossible, this would be an incredible troll. Um, I think it is possible. I don't know. I would be stunned if this were just a prank. It would be an amazing prank, but um, no, this like 
There are Wikipedia articles talking about this sliding box puzzle. This is not some secret. So, if this were a prank, it's a, the effort that would be required to keep it a secret that this is a prank would be incredible. Um, they would not be able to keep a secret like this. Um, so I want to switch like some of these pieces with this gold. And I keep getting confused about how to do that. So let's do it this way. Oh, that's where I'm getting stuck. But... Hmm. Man, so what's the deal? I thought I could freely rotate these pieces about. And if free rotation's possible, then... Why is it so difficult to do what I'm trying to do? So we've had this position before. Um, but yeah, the goal I think right now is to get these pieces located in the upper right corner. And I'm not sure why this is so challenging. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just keep the silver in the corner for now and not try to move it about randomly. Maybe the rest of the puzzle will work better with the silver in the corner. But no, for this to work, I'd have to get this rook to the left. Uh, I have to get the four large pieces other than the king clumped together. Um, and I don't think I can do that. So I have to move this away. Um, I think. I keep imagining things that aren't quite possible here. Yeah, the king is the top left piece. Yep, that's right, the jewel king or jewel general. Um... So, for example, if I move these pieces down, I can move the king down one. And I could slide these pieces above here. Then I'm stuck. Because the rest of these pieces have no freedom. 
I could shuffle these three pieces in the corner, but that's about the extent of it. So it'd be cool if I could do similarly, but with this silver still in this corner. But then I don't think I'd have the freedom to move the rest of the pieces. So that's where we're confused at present. Um, so I could move the rook back into the corner, but ultimately that's going to pose problems too. So I can clump these four together. Um, actually I could move the silver down here, uh, but then we're stuck again. At least I think we will be. Not completely sure. Right, so we have a rook in this corner and two golds in the other corner. And the gold pair can't move because of the king, and the rook can't move because of the king. So that's the issue. Is that the king is just enormous on this little puzzle board. Hey, welcome. Oh, we're just losing our mind trying to solve this centuries-old puzzle, you know? It's fine. What better way to celebrate the new feature release on Lee Shogi? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um... This puzzle's really, really hard, or I'm just extraordinarily bad at it, or both. Okay, well, we haven't tried this arrangement yet. There's probably a good reason why I haven't, but, you know, why not try? Um... Hmm. All right, so the, the reason why not try is because I can't get pieces to the left of this rook while everything else is still locked in place. So that's the answer to why not try. Like, no matter how fancy I get, I can't teleport pieces to the left of the rook. So for the king to make it down the left side, all the large pieces have to be on the right side. Um... So, for all the large pieces to be on the right side of the board, some magic's got to happen here to, like, unlock this. I don't know. That's not it. Um... Sticking a small piece into the corner wouldn't change anything. No. Sticking two small pieces into the corner might change something, but one? No. Um, so we can move the rook to the right one. I don't think we'll have the same freedom to get these pieces above the king at this point. Because um, these two small pieces need to be moved to the right. Everything needs to be moved right. Um. <laughs> I don't think this shuffle will do anything useful, but I've not tried it yet. Um. <laughs> There's a way to lock things. Yeah. <laughs> or the right side? This board was symmetric when we started. It wouldn't surprise me if you had, the king had to go down the center. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so my estimate is that this is going to take me multiple hours to complete. Um, based on having tried it a little bit earlier today, and 
gave up on it because it was just too hard. <laughs> um, but I thought, hey, this could be entertaining for us all to try to enjoy together. So, uh, here's that. Um, so, okay. The other thing is maybe I need to move the silver to the top here. I don't know, like, this doesn't even seem possible, but maybe I need to. And if I need to, then it is possible, even if it doesn't seem possible. But doesn't seem likely. Doesn't seem likely at all. So, yeah. We move the silver back into the corner. There we go. Mission accomplished. You got the king moved and nothing else can move. Hmm. Okay, let's try this some other way. Do I want to do it this way or that way? Seems unique. I don't want this rook in the corner. I've tried this rook in the corner a thousand times before. I don't want it. Maybe it's okay, despite me not wanting it. What's less okay is putting these guys in the corner instead of next to the king, but still. Um, no, the rook in the corner's not going to work. I can't have the rook there. It has to be the rook here. Um, but yeah, I keep trying the same thing over and over, and it's, it hasn't worked yet. But, okay, what can I try here? Nothing. <laughs> See, if I had the rook in the corner, then I could move these two guys into this gap, but the rook could still, there'd be no way to escape it. Um, hmm. <laughs> don't understand. I mean, something I've not tried is the silver in the center. This makes no sense at all. I guess the silver in the center could only be useful if I had a piece in the corner here. And if a zillion other constraints were all simultaneously satisfied for this to like somehow make any sense whatsoever. Um, I haven't tried Central King yet. I'm, I was deeply, deeply skeptical that the king could move straight down the center of the board. I still am. Um, but maybe that is the answer. I still would be very, very much surprised if that's the answer. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, so at least until I solve this, I can be wrong. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, no, I guess there's a reason it's such a famous puzzle. <laughs> and of course, this is like the most evil version of it. So, um, 
Mm -hmm. Our most difficult version of it. So... We've rejoined our four units together, which means the rest of the pieces are all stuck. If I could somehow get two pieces in the lower left corner and the silver on the right, maybe that could work, but I don't think so. Um, so... We'd have to get a second piece to the left of the silver. Pretty much lock the silver in the lower right corner. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll stick these guys in the corner against my better judgment. Because I'm just desperate for ideas at this point. Uh, if I could switch the location of these six pieces... Um, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, this is not good. Well, no, this gap is together here. The gap being together is a little encouraging. Um, but this, the pieces being disconnected is very discouraging. Um, see, now I got my pieces trapped in the corner here. How can I rotate this further? I mean, this puts those in the corner, but now these pieces are trapped below the silver. I need them moved around the silver somehow. Which I doesn't seem possible. I commented maybe this sort of thing could sometimes work, but I don't think so. Um, so we're going back toward the start position accidentally. Yes, any percent. <laughs> Smashing the box is not an option, but yeah. Some people might suggest let's try to get this in the minimum number of moves. Uh, we've given up on that, <laughs> at least for now. Um, so this is more entertaining for viewership, I think, even though it's just me randomly trying stuff. Um, <laughs> I could group them this way, or I could group them on the right. Um, I don't think it matters too much which way I grouped them. So I've grouped all four of these guys together in the center. Um, my object with that was to somehow spy dream crazy. Yeah, there's no way to get this down there. I, even if I could, this silver would lock everything in place anyway. Um, it'd be ideal if I could get the silver at the top of the board, but like, how the hell? 
could that be possible? Um, no, there's no easy solution to getting the silver toward the top of the board. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, sure. What the heck? We got viewers to satisfy. We've got my curiosity to satisfy. Let's move the king down the middle. All right. Now what? <laughs> no, okay. Um, I'm assuming there's a better way. Uh, okay, so that didn't quite work, but let's see. Is there some other way to do this? This seems very, very difficult, but let's see if we can find some way to move the king down the center. So that's slightly different, but not really. Um, So I'm trying to not move the king left or right. Um, this not moving the king left or right restriction is a little bit challenging. I mean, maybe the answer is to... Eh, you might have to move the king left or right to get the king down the center. I don't know. Um... Seems like the only way I can exchange some pieces with these generals would be if the king uh, weren't directly in the center of the board. So let's see if there's some way we can exchange some pieces. Um, there's the one hour mark. That's not useful. Um, so let's move this. No, that was not smart. Um, so the problem with moving this down is that once the king moves, the silver can't move up. And everything's jammed. So, well, now the corner's jammed. Um, I need to exchange something into the corner so I can move the king down. So we put these pieces in the corner. Now what? Um, I did this wrong, didn't I? Um, so king down is what we're saying. Like through the center of the board. Okay, now what?
Yeah. Yeah, the king... Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. That At some point, the king will have to move left or right. The silver will have to move right or left for the king and silver to exchange places. Um, that's accurate. Um... So, I don't know, I probably shouldn't have put three up there. Two up here is probably fine, but the third one is probably pushing it. Um, hmm. That's confusing. So, it's possible for me to do stuff like this. I just don't know if I can get back out of it. No, that doesn't actually free anything. Um... How did I do this? Okay, these guys are back together again. Can't move this left. Um, maybe two in the corner is also the wrong number. Maybe I should have one in the corner? But then I need one in the other corner. How's this going to even happen? How can I get one into this corner and one into the other corner? It doesn't seem possible. I don't know how I did this. Let's put two in the corner first and then see if there's a way to get one of them out of it, I guess. Something's not quite right. I mean, we could put two in the corner, but let's us back where we... Oh, hang on. Alright, we've got all four of these guys up in the corners. Um, which means there's no way to move the king down. Oops. Um, hmm. I messed that up. Okay. So... Need something like this where I got one in that corner. Um, I need one in this other corner.
I don't think I can get one small unit in each corner. That might be a bit much. What? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> well, I guess that means there's going to be a glitchless category. <laughs> At least until the bug gets fixed. <laughs> All right, well, let's take advantage of our good fortune for now. <laughs> All right, shit. How do I cheat again? <laughs> it's possible I might have made this unsolvable with that cheat. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I didn't read the rules, so as far as I know so far... So far, that's legit. <laughs> it's very possible that in future editions of this speedrun, that move might be illegal. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the downside is maybe this is unsolvable now. Uh... <laughs> hey. It's only unsolvable if you don't cheat. <laughs> See, the trick is you might have to cheat again to fix the first cheat. Uh, we might have made this very, very much harder to solve with that cheat, but I am not resetting yet. Because <sighs> it might still be possible to solve this mess, but... Um, hmm. I was clicking around in frustration, honestly. I was not trying to cheat. I was just mad after an hour and ten minutes that I had not made progress. So, yeah. I think the Rook is the only piece you could cheat with. I could try to uncheat. I don't think... No, I did try to uncheat earlier, and the uncheat was unsuccessful, so... We're stuck with this for now, but this might not be solvable. At least until I hit the reset button. Yeah, no, this looks unsolvable now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, it's hard to test new features, isn't it? Yeah, there's no solving this. Well, maybe that counts as a win in my book, because I don't know that I can solve this. Oh, you got it in 916 moves in less than 15 minutes. Congrats. Yeah, I think we got bad ending in like one hour, 10 minutes or something. There's not enough freedom to shuffle the pieces i don't think yeah this is a deadlock so i accidentally shifted the rook from here to there and there oh, i can shift it back okay so we're back in a solvable state again welcome <laughs> so okay that wasn't a bad ending I very much doubt that that move is allowed. Like, no. <laughs> that old shifty rook. 
Oh man, can I sh cheat this way? No, see, the gold can't cheat, the bishop can't cheat. The rook can't cheat this way either. I think you have to like put the rook next to a smaller piece and then the rook can jump the gap like that uh somehow yeah so if you grab the lower left corner okay that might make this easier i did call this any percent so maybe that's a permitted move I very, very much doubt it, but, you know, if it's legal, then sure. Uh, probably not going to be legal for much longer, but okay. Hang on. So if I had a small piece here, then it could jump the gap. Oh, I'm sorry. This could still jump. All right. Can I jump it back? Somehow? Yeah. Interesting. How do I make sense of this new physics to help me cheat the heck out of this? Okay. Um... Hmm. Even with cheating, I'm not getting very far. <laughs> That's the sad bit. <laughs> uh, it was great. <laughs> oh, man. See, I can't jump this over. It's only... Um, some pieces that are allowed to cheat. <laughs> All right. Um, if I could just get these smaller pieces into the corner, I'd be in a better position to cheat. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is so great. This is the perfect... Maybe you have to, like, fail this puzzle for an hour. And then it, like, this is easy mode now. Um, maybe that's the answer. Is that um, this is only permitted after you, like, completely and utterly fail to solve the puzzle. Maybe only then these moves are allowed. Um... Um. <laughs> it's the day zero glitch. See? Uh, yeah. I'm thinking they're going to patch the game. <laughs> but for now, um, only for now. We're going to do it this way. The sad thing is I'm still not going to like manage to solve this. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've got another idea. I've got another idea that's going to make this so much easier. Let's see. Developer tools. Page inspect. Okay. Hey God, we got this. Reset. Page inspect. Right. So here's our sliding puzzle. Uh, let's see. Here's our game board. There's the board. Here's each piece. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this one too. Alright. I think we got this, guys. 
Damn it. <coughs> well, <laughs> we tried. Uh, shit. Okay. That's no big problem. That's fine. Um, hmm. <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, let's see. That just means it's a little harder. That's okay. Let's hit this reset button. Um, alright, so developer tools, inspect. Uh, let's see. I thought of that, though. More likely they didn't quite think of that, but that's just accidentally how this puzzle works. Um, so like, if I delete a piece and I click the game board, it regenerates the pieces on the board. I think that's an accident somehow, rather than careful programming. But I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. So this is the document. There's game help down here and a reset button. Uh move count so we could edit the move count but i think the real solution would be to hack the source code um so let's see if i go i mean this is not allowed in most categories and probably not allowed in this category but at this point i don't know what more to try. Your objective is to help the king escape. Well, I kind of helped it, you know? Um, yeah, I can inspect the HTML. I just don't think I can, like, edit the source code. But at this point, I'm kind of... kind of stumped. There's no way I'm managing to solve this normally. I have despaired. So the next thing I can do is see if there is a win function somewhere in the source code. So I can at least see like what the win message looks like for the rest of us. Um, I mean, I could look up the solution too, but where's the fun in doing that? So I'm just uh, searching, there's cookies, and SQL, or, or web SQL, service workers, storage, background services, performance, network, sources, oh, sources. All right, so under sources, um, uh, there's the game. All right, so... Sliding Puzzles is the name of the game. Uh, let's see. Shogi Ground Sliding Puzzles .min .js. Um, I guess rather than leave you guys in the dark, we'll take a look at this together. Uh, so Here's the source code. There's some iterator helper and such. Somehow there's, I guess, a document or a cookie or something that contains all this data. Okay, there's a step function. There's a lot of functions. Now, where is the function that says you win? Um... Well, oh, this is a minified version of the sliding puzzle. So even if there is a uwin function, I'm not going to be able to understand it so easily because this is minified. So, hmm, that's a bit of an issue. I mean, we could look on GitHub to see what the original source was. But yeah, if there is a win function, 
it's not clear how to invoke it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just lose. I'm still amused that it is possible to cheat, but um, yeah. It's not super easy to... Uh, I'd have to like recompile this or look at the source. Send an on victory event. That's kind of what I was looking for. Is, is there some on victory event? I couldn't find one. Maybe there is one, I just couldn't find it. But yeah, this kind of move where you take the top right of the piece and drag the top right down and left. Like, the interface, at least right now, allows you to do such a thing. But it seems not to be um, beneficial in many cases to do such a thing. So here, since I'm moving to the right, I need to grab the lower left corner, and there we go. Um, but yeah. Oh, can this one do this too? If I grab this, I could do this with the silver also. So, yeah, we can cheat a lot more than I thought we could. Um, okay. So, move the silver back down. Side. All right. Uh, the silver is really the one that's been the greatest annoyance this puzzle. So, um, the other cheats are probably not so significant. Uh, here, I don't even know that I want to cheat in this instance. Can I move this off the game board? No. That would be silly. Um, come on. There we go. Um, hmm. Seem to be stuck after most cheating moves. Most of the time, cheating seems not to be of any use. Uh, I'm trying to find some case where it might be useful. Most of the time, it's just a convenience rather than something that actually helps you. Like, you could spend a lot of time moving around pieces to get pieces into a given shape. But I don't think I've seen any case where it's actually profitable to cheat. Uh, gotta say, the, oh, wait. All right, no, okay, there would never be a gap large enough for the king to cheat. But that would be really funny. All right. Uh... We might have found a case, finally, where it's actually practical for cheating. Uh, yeah. We might have actually found a case where cheating actually profits. Um, hmm. So close. But yeah, when I created uh, this any percent category, I had I did not at all think that it would be possible to cheat at this game. It seems like such I don't know. I I could not have imagined um, it. Uh, being practical or even possible. Um, but having played this game a bit, it 
it's kind of hard to imagine doing it some other way. <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah. Uh, well, we'll try to do it more a legit way next time. Um, I still have to figure out how to get the silver out of this corner. Yeah, this, this made this making progress so much easier, honestly. Um, wait, can I shuffle this? Oh, I have to grab this from the bottom, like that. Um, <laughs> Gotta think about this honestly. Um, because yeah, the hard part is getting the silver and the king around each other. Um, Yeah, I don't think I made any progress on getting the silver and king around each other. I need to move the king up one to get the silver moved. Um, so to get the king moved up one, um, gotta move the world. Uh, well, this might work too. Hmm. Problem with cheating is usually here it's not helpful. That's a problem. Other problems is it's just not like how you're supposed to do it. Yes, yeah, it is possible to like, well, I don't know. I think it's cheating. I don't actually know exactly what the rules of the game are. But I think, yeah, the horizontal piece can skip 
you can like shake it and move it around a bit as long as it's horizontal and at the beginning and the end of its movement. Um, so if I had a way to move the piece horizontally to get it out of a jam, I could do that. Like here, I could grab this corner and move it up like that. Um, you won! Woo! One hour, 33 minutes, 48 seconds or something. Um, all right. Somebody's eventually going to tell the developer that uh, I had success, but, um, yeah, I think this game might be updated soon, if I had to guess.